sports fans, if you want to improve your jumping ability, check out Boing Bird's complete video system. For a limited time, you can access their incredible training videos for only $7, a savings of over $70. You win? The Wildcats from Kentucky are a bunch of all-stars assembled to wreak havoc on the less athletic college players they've faced. With the promise of a first-round pick in the NBA draft, head coach John Calipari has outdid himself with this year's team, and that's saying something looking at some of his recent teams. At 34-0, very few teams this year got within shouting distance, and everyone has weighed in on the best way to have a shot at beating Kentucky. Most opponents cannot match the sheer physical advantages Kentucky has, particularly in their front court. So I believe it's best to approach this with a, if we're going to lose anyway, let's go down swinging kind of attitude. I've gone over what I perceive as Coach Calipari's weaknesses in the past, and I think I've identified a loophole to their game plan that, if exploited correctly, could leave the Kentucky faithful selling their unused Final Four tickets early. While their press defense is ranked almost at the top of the list this year, I was shocked to discover that they almost never forced a turnover in the backcourt. Most teams were content to clear out and let their point guard bring the ball up slowly under control and try to start their offense. Rarely did we see a team attack, and I think that this is the first mistake. With the right kind of players and game plan, teams can aggressively get into the paint and kick out for open shots. Kentucky isn't the most disciplined team, and I think their press would allow a lot of these opportunities. Let's start by looking at how they press. Kentucky doesn't do too much with their pressure. Primarily, it's a man-to-man -man where they will simply pressure the ball one-on-one -on -one off the court. Most teams were perfectly content to slow it down, let their D1 point guard slowly and methodically get the ball off the court, allowing ample time for Kentucky's defense to get into position and gobble you up with their long arms and quick feet. Sometimes they'll try and trap the inbounds for a quick steal, but just as quickly, once the ball is reversed, go right back to a man-to-man -man without any desire to trap again. They will also have the inbounder's man face away from the ball to try and deny the inbounds pass. There are times that that man will stay to double the receiver, and other times he'll simply run back to his man and this shadow pressure continues in the backcourt. Where teams make the mistake is by not being aggressive enough. Here's Auburn attacking their zone press, and the long down court pass could be a shot. But watch after he puts the ball on the floor. It's this skip to the corner that teams can get for wide open threes. And Vanderbilt had the right idea to get the ball in quickly and push. A cross court pass would have gotten them an open three on the right side. Travis Daniels of Mississippi State, instead of hovering near the middle, should have been sprinting right to the three-point line from the beginning, and they could have taken advantage of a four-on-three. There is also the secondary break, where you could possibly catch Kentucky off guard, but you have to be thinking kick out to three on all drives. Here they miss the perfect opportunity for an easy shot. So which teams do this well? The first name that comes to mind is Notre Dame a team ranked seventh in the country in three-point field goal efficiency, and they have no problem letting these shots fly in transition. Almost all of Connaughton's three-pointers this year came off the break, and the quicker they can get the ball up, the faster these shots should fly. They've got a number of good shooters, and if head coach Mike Bray gives them all the green light, they have a chance. Arizona also has athletes to match up with Kentucky and is decent as a team in shooting the three. They will spread to the three-point line if you zone press them and use the pass to attack quite well. However, if you have a point guard that can shoot it off the dribble, even better. On the other side of the bracket, there are a few other teams that also have no problem pushing the pace to get to the three-point line. Villanova gets them up quick, but it's also the push-up then kick back out to the trailing three-point shooter that can cause Kentucky problems if they over-pursue the initial pass. And the quick skip pass to the spot-up shooter might catch Kentucky sleeping on that weak side. Gonzaga has the guards to handle the pressure and be able to avoid the pitfall of just trying to slow it down. If Pangos gives it up early and follows, the three ball can be there for him as well. Gonzaga is great at pushing, making exactly one pass for the catch and shoot three. If they can handle the pressure, I suspect they can get quite a number of good looks this way. 
So there you have it, sports fans. While it's likely Kentucky gets all the way to the finals and wins the whole thing, no doubt they will have a few close games along the way, and I am certain that attacking the press for three-point shots will play a major role in any upset bid. Stay tuned for lots more coverage of the tournament coming up, and don't forget, sports fans, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You win?